Are we ready for the big one? It's a lazy Sunday afternoon in Chile. Men and women are resting, finally. A day to relax after a whole week spent working. Children are playing around, taking advantage of the remaining time before they have to go to school the next day. And suddenly, the earth shakes with such force that it topples over houses in a matter of seconds. People are panicking. The shaking doesn't stop. The earthquake lasts for a seemingly endless 10 minutes. We are talking the longest 10 minutes of their lives. This was the strongest earthquake ever recorded in human history. The 9.5 magnitude Valdivia earthquake on May 22, 1960. An earthquake so strong that it even triggered tsunamis that destroyed coastal communities across the Pacific in New Zealand, Japan, Hawaii, and the Philippines. That's multiple freaking countries. In Valdivia, the worst hit city, infrastructures were completely destroyed, and a tsunami measuring 35 feet added to the devastation minutes after the earthquake had stopped. More than six decades after this horrific natural disaster, scientists and urban planners are still looking back at the Valdivia earthquake to help us prepare should a similar earthquake happen. This is matter. And today we wonder, are we ready for the big one? So what even is an earthquake? An earthquake is what happens when two plates of the Earth suddenly break off and slip along the fault. Imagine the Earth's surface as a giant jigsaw puzzle, but not all the pieces fit perfectly. Sure, you can jam two mismatched pieces together and they will stick, for a while. But over time, pressure will build up along the line where these two puzzle pieces meet, and they'll eventually break and either slip under or over each other, which will cause the puzzle pieces around them to also move. That's basically how an earthquake starts. Other possible causes of an earthquake are volcanic eruptions, and in the time of the dinosaurs, impact from an asteroid hitting the Earth. Until the early 1700s, very few factual records of earthquakes existed. But that doesn't mean that people in ancient times did not write down their accounts of earthquakes that happened. Different civilizations have recorded their own experiences with earthquakes, with China giving us the earliest descriptive information for an earthquake that happened in 1177 BC. Ancient Greeks wrote of an earthquake in 226 BC that destroyed the Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Bible also recorded earthquakes that happened during Noah's flood and the fall of Jericho. Modern science measures and records earthquakes using the Moment Magnitude Scale MMS. MMS measures the movement of rock along the fault and classifies it into different categories. Minor for magnitudes between 3.0 and 3.9, where earthquakes generally begin to be felt, and ends with great for magnitudes greater than 8.0, where significant damage is expected. 9.5 magnitude is the strongest earthquake to occur. But what would an earthquake with greater magnitude feel like? If we refer to the 2012 study by Tohoku University in Japan, theoretically, a magnitude 10 quake would likely cause ground motions for up to an hour, with the tsunami hitting while the shaking was still going on, according to the research. The tsunami would continue for several days, causing damage to several Pacific Rim nations. A magnitude 15 earthquake would literally change the face of the Earth, flattening mountains and emptying oceans. And a magnitude 20 earthquake? It would shatter our planet to pieces. Now that I've scared you out of your wits, I'm sure you'll be glad to know that a magnitude 10 or higher earthquake is not likely to happen, since there is no fault line long enough to generate a magnitude 10 earthquake, and even if there was, it would stretch around most of the planet. This doesn't mean that we should be complacent, though. We still have to prepare for the big one, an earthquake reaching or even surpassing 7.8 magnitude. While no one can say for sure when an earthquake will happen, scientists have used data from previous quakes to approximate when earthquakes are likely to occur and to help the general population prepare for the big one. In the west coast of the United States, for example, big quakes normally occur along the San Andreas Fault in California every 45 to 230 years, and there hasn't been one in 161 years. 
Scientists believe that we are currently living within the window of when an earthquake of great magnitude is to happen. To prepare for the big one, numerous studies have been conducted which resulted in improved building codes and a better understanding of how to reduce the threat posed by earthquakes. Models of potential future events and their impacts are also being used to prepare for different scenarios of how an earthquake hazard may occur. These are used for emergency planning decisions and to ensure that the population is prepared for such events. In California, building codes are constantly being changed to adapt to possible damages future earthquakes may cause. Aside from that, each household is encouraged to have emergency survival kits and to take disaster preparedness classes to help them protect themselves and their families should an earthquake occur. Because while earthquakes are unstoppable, we can still take precautions to minimize their damage to life and property. How would you prepare for a big earthquake? Have you gone through an earthquake yourself? Let us know in the comments section below and smash the like button. The thought of an earthquake happening close to where I live really freaks me out. But I wonder what you think of all of this. Did you have fun learning today? Want to learn more about the Earth? Then make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to see our latest videos. We may not be the largest channel around, but we sincerely care about what you have to say. And here's the best part. We'll actually read your comments and respond back. And hey, if you say something nice to us in the comment section below, we'll give you a shout out in our next video upload. See you next time, Matter Fam!